speech pumping these black lug or trying to i'm going to show you how i'm using the pump not that i'm an expert it's only my second time doing it we are getting a few nice worms we've got a few in the bucket i'll show you now we get an handful as you can see there is some good worms in there but to be honest i have no idea what i'm doing i'm still learning i think that one's a blow lug it's a good size lug and then we've got some blacks there is some really nice worm in here i've got a few broken worm but i'll have a walk along the beach now try and find a cast and show you how i'm pumping the worms all i'm going to do is lubricate the pump what you want some fairy liquid and you just put a drop literally i'll try and show you just that much down the end of the pipe what it does it lubricates the pump and it helps with the suction well lubricate the pump we've got a cast down here bring the camera down Lee. we've got a cast right there i'll try and show you this cast closer up it looks quite tidy and round it's the neat ones i'm looking for you get the pump in roughly three to four inches away push the pump in slightly and pull the handle up I'll do it again and I didn't get a worm out of that one but we'll keep going and try some more now as you can see it's only a tiny worm but a worm is a worm I can still use it on my cod baits And what you're meant to do as well you are meant to gut them on the beach but i'll gut them when i get back and i save all the guts and the blood and then i use it in my bait i freeze it in it we'll keep searching Look at that for a worm. Just pump that one out just now. Now, that's what you call a worm. That's a monster. As you can see, I'll show you the gutting. Like I said, I don't do it on the beach normally. What you do is roll your fingers up here. You can see the guts coming out there. You want to get rid of that, those. Look at that for a worm. That's not, get, that's not far off a foot long. But that's what we're looking for. And that's how you pump it. It's only my second time pumping worm. So, if you can, get yourself on YouTube. Watch the videos on YouTube. Come down the beach and have a go. Got another cast here, we'll try again. Like I said before, four inches away from the hole. You want it at an angle, like that roughly. You push the pump in, fraction, and pull the handle at the same time. Then you go in again. I do say to do it three times, but I've never found to get the worm on the third time, so I've stopped doing it. Keep walking. Four inches away at an angle. And if you look on the pump, the sand is up to there. So that's my depth marker. Some yesterday when I was doing it, I was about there. Today it seems to be about there so use the sand as a marker what you can do wipe the sand off and when you go in and pump again and get a worm you know how deep you need to be there's a nice round cast here we'll try this one three to four inches away i've broke that worm you can see i got a little bit of him they generally say if you're breaking the worms you're going too deep I was about there, so we have gone a bit deeper than earlier. So we'll carry on. Right, there's a cast here. It's not the best one. Can you see that, Lee? Mm -hmm. Look at that for a worm. See, these are proper worms. That's a hell of a worm. I'll show you next to my boot, I'm size 10. 
That's a big, big worm to gut it. Hold your hand up here, squeeze up slowly, and you'll see it burst at the end, just like that. Guts out, that's gutted. Give it all a good wash at the end of the session. Get them wrapped in paper in tens. That is perfect cod bait. You won't beat that. Not with a squid cocktail, or even on its own. You can fold them up like that. Get two of those worms folded in half, next to each other, wrapped up as bait. That'll be perfect. Well, we'll carry on at the beach, see if we can get some more. Giving the pump a lube up again. We've got a cast here. Three to four inches about that angle. Go in a few inches and pull. Didn't get one that time again. Let's keep going. But us lost it. This is a blow lug. As you can see there, what they say to pump blow lug, go into the blow hole there. That's the cast, that's the blow. In a couple inches and suck. And then on the second attempt, you may get the worm. I've just broken it. But you can see that's the insides of the worm. Try the third time. No, I didn't get the worm, but I've broken him. That's where it lies along there in a U shape. I broke that worm. Maybe I'm a bit deep. Yeah, it looks like I am. I've gone up to there. I should be around there. Let's wipe the pump off. Find another cast and try again. For a worm, try and wash him off somewhere. That's a proper worm. These are huge. Let's get him in the bucket and keep going. broke that worm, I lost his tail but I'll still keep it. It's only for cocktail baits anyway. There we go. Another good worm right there. Hopefully I'll get some good videos of cod fishing on these for you. Hello. Mm -hmm. With a nice worm there. I'm going to end the video in soon, but I'll show you what we've had. Get on sand there. As you can 
see, there's quite a few nice worms in here. Some of them I've gutted, some of them I haven't. But, yeah, it's a good bunch of worms. Plenty of baits here to do cocktails when I get home. I'll give them all a clean out after. But, as you can see in the bucket there, we've got a few. I'll tell you about the pump quickly. I brought it off a bloke on Facebook. I'll try and show you the name on the pump. It's DS bait pumps. I don't know if you can see that on there. But the bloke builds them himself, the more handmade. Most lug pumps, I think they're around 0.8 mil thick. His pumps, I think, are a 1.7 or 1.8 mil thick wall. So these last a lot longer, it's a lot stronger. It's fully stainless steel. And what he does is, you can cover the handles if you want them covered. It is extra. This pump is the Lunga model. And I think it, it was £90 posted with the handles on. And you get three spare silicon washers for inside the pump. But the build quality of it and the smoothness, it's amazing. It is really, really good. And I don't know if you can see down there. So you got your washer inside there and the nylock nut when it needs rebuilding i'll show you if you'd like to get your hands on one of these pumps off dave he's on facebook if you type in ds bait pumps he's got a whole page he's got five star reviews on facebook and this is only my second attempt my first attempt was yesterday and i'm getting worms with it so maybe i'm seriously jammy i don't know or maybe it's the pump but i'm impressed with it and it's getting me a lot of nice lugworm. So let's carry on up the beach and try and get some more. This tide's turned now, but it's coming in pretty quick. It's quite a big flat beach. So we'll carry on and get as many as we can before we get pushed off the beach. And another nice big worm again. I'm gonna end the video soon. Obviously, you're not going to be learning a lot from me. It's only my second attempt. But this video goes to show that you can do it yourself. You get a lot of people saying you don't stand a chance of getting worm. I had it on Facebook when I mentioned buying a pump. Ignore it. Get a pump. Go out and buy one. And just don't give in. Stay on the beach. And just keep trying. And then ask questions. And there is decent people out there who will give you advice. A lot of it can be conflicting. So you just got to take it with a pinch of salt. And just try all of it. Try everything. We've walked probably two miles, maybe three miles, and I've not given in. I'm just gonna keep going and going and going. And I'm getting more and more worm as I go along. This is just practice. So put in the hard work and you get the rewards. Anyway, I'm gonna end the video here. I'm gonna carry on pumping. Lee's getting tired videoing for me, my son. So I might have to go soon, it's not fair on him. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you picked up a few tips, possibly, possibly not. If you can, give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.